Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we got a system of uh, exponential equations. As you can see over here, 2 power 3a equals to 9, 3 power 2b equals to 10, 10 power c equals to 11, and finally 11 power d equals to 12. And now we are going to find the value of a times b times c times d. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And in this video, I am going to share with you two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this uh, 2 power 3a. And here I have copied it down. And now let's recall this power rule. So this uh, 2 power 3a could be written as a 2 power 3 and then a whole power a. And now 2 power 3 is simply 8. So therefore this whole thing uh, could be written as 8 power a. So therefore this uh, 2 power 3a could be written as 8 power a. So therefore this equation could be written as uh, like this one. And next now focus on this uh, 3 power 2b. And here I have copied it down. And now let's focus on this power rule once again. So therefore this could be written as 3 power 2 and then whole power b. And 3 power 2 is same as 9. So therefore I'm going to replace this part by 9 power b. So therefore this second equation could be written as this one as you can see over here. And I'm going to leave these equation as it is over here. Let me call this equation number 1, this uh, number 2, this one uh, number 3 and finally this as our equation number 4. And now let me show you the very first method. And now let's consider this equation 4. And here I have copied it down and let's focus on this base 11. We know 11 equals to 10 power c. So therefore I'm going to replace this 11 by 10 power c and then whole power d equals to 12. And now let's recall this power rule. We are going to apply on the left hand side. So this could be written as 10 power c times d equals to 12. And now let's focus on this uh, base 10 and we know 10 equals to 9 power b. Therefore I'm going to replace this 10 by 9 power b and then whole power c times d equals to 12. And now we are going to apply this power rule once again on the left hand side. So the left hand side is going to become 9 power b times c times d equals to 12. Now let's focus on this base 9 and we know 9 equals to 8 power a. So therefore left hand side is going to become 8 power a and then whole power b c d equals to 12. And now let's apply this uh, power rule once again. So the left hand side is going to become 8 power a times b times c times d equals to 12. And here's our next step. Let's take a log on both sides of this equation. So this is going to become log of uh, 8 power a b c d equal to log of uh, 12. And now let's recall this uh, power rule. According to this rule, this exponent a, b, c, d, we are going to move it all the way to the front. So therefore we can write a times b times c times d times log of 8 equals to log of 12. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by log of 8. This and this is gone. So therefore our a times b times c times d turns out to be equal to log of 12 divided by log of 8. And that's our solution. 
And here I have figured out our log of 8 and log of 12 values. And I'm going to plug those values over here. So therefore our A, B, C, D value is approximately equal to 1.195. And here's our answer in terms of logarithmic form and this is in terms of decimal form. And now let me show you the second method. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and take a log on both sides of this uh, equation 1. And here's our equation 1. Let me go ahead and take a log on left hand side and log on right hand side as well. And now let's recall this power rule once again. According to this rule, we are going to move this exponent all the way to the very front. So therefore we can write a times log of 8 equals to log of 9. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by log of 8. So therefore our a value turns out to be log of 9 divided by log of 8. Let me call this as our equation number 5. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this equation 2. We're going to take a log on both sides. And here's our equation 2. Let's go ahead and take a log on both sides. Now we are going to apply this power rule once again on the left hand side. So this could be written as b times log of 9 equal to log of 10. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by log of 9. This is gone. So therefore our b value turns out to be log of 10 divided by log of 9. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 6. And now let's take a log on both sides of equation 3. And here's our equation number 3. Let's take a log on both sides. And now we're going to apply this power rule on the left hand side. So this is going to give us c times uh, log of 10 equal to log of 11. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by log of 10. This is gone. So therefore our c value turns out to be log of 11 divided by log of 10. Let me call this our equation number 7. And finally we're going to repeat the process for this equation 4 which is right here. Let's take a log on both sides on this side and this side as well. Now let's apply this rule once again. So this could be written as d times log of 11 equal to log of 12. Now let's divide both sides by log of 11. This is gone. So therefore our d value turns out to be log of 12 divided by log of 11. Let me call this our equation number 8. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and multiply out these equations 5, 6, 7 and 8. So the left hand side when we multiply them we're going to get a times b times c times d equal to on the right hand side we're going to have a log of 9 divided by log of 8 times log of 10 divided by log of 9 times log of 11 divided by log of 10 times finally log of 12 divided by log of 11 and now we can see this log of 9 and this log of 9 is gone log of 10 and this log of 10 is gone this log of 11 and this log of 11 cancel each other out therefore on the right hand side we ended up with log of 12 divided by log of 8 so therefore we ended up with a b c d equal to log of 12 divided by log of 8 and that's our a b c d value and thus here's our a b c d value in terms of logarithmic form and here in terms of decimal form.
Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.